Human resource management is a term often associated with the corporate world, far away from ranching and rural lifestyles. But the cattle industry needs people, and many managers will admit it's becoming increasingly difficult to find and keep good employees. Reporter Russell Nemitz has more on one cattleman's college class that offered insights on how successful ranches manage their workforce. Finding, motivating, and keeping productive employees is one of the most challenging responsibilities for owners and managers of any organization, including cattle operations. While we don't often think of people as a resource, properly managing employees can make a huge difference on an operation. Today, to successfully manage a ranch is more about um, more than just managing livestock and land and natural resources, it's really, um, it's really critical to get the human resource piece right um, in today's environment. Uh, relationships are extremely important. There's not only are we shrinking in cattle numbers, but we're shrinking in qualified people to work on those operations. And so we need to do everything we can to find, motivate, and retain employees on, on ranches today. Human resource management on the ranch was one of many valuable classes offered during Cattlemen's College at the 2016 Cattle Industry Convention. The goal of the session was to give participants a greater understanding of the skills needed to lead, manage, and supervise their workforce. We went out and we interviewed some ranch managers that we've worked with over the years, and we got their advice. and thoughts on how we can do a better job of managing people on ranches. And so with that, they provided us with some ideas to think about if we're hiring part-time or full-time people and making sure that we're finding the right fit for the operation. Whether you have 50 employees or just a handful, the human resource experts stressed that you need to encourage worker participation rather than simply giving orders and then checking if the job was done. Communication is the key to keeping everyone informed and engaged with the operation. So really it is about figuring out the best way to keep those communication lines open because that's really what's going to allow the jobs to get done and get done well. Working with younger employees was another big topic of conversation in this session. Specifically, how do you best communicate with a generation that you may have trouble relating to or understanding? That number of younger individuals is certainly going to grow with time as those younger folks enter into the industry, return back home to take over farming or ranching enterprises. And so we need to make sure that we're able to communicate across those different generations. And that's one of those things that nobody quite has found the silver bullet yet. But I think that by having these discussions about how do we communicate, recognizing there's communication style differences, and then trying to adapt the way that our generation communicates with different generations can certainly help break down some of those barriers. It's important to remember that younger workers often have different motivations than previous generations. If you develop a management style that properly engages these ranch employees, you'll often find that workforce performance and job satisfaction soars. Today we were really focused on money related things to, to incentivize people, salary increases, and bonuses based on personal achievement, right? Those are important to employees today. As we think about millennials moving in, some of the more intrinsic things might become more important, meaning the pat on the back, the opportunities for advancement, the recognition from a manager that you're doing a good job because they need to have a passion for things and they need to feel like they're solving the world's problems. Supervisors must also provide clear job descriptions to employees. Defining procedures and expectations can contribute greatly to employee job satisfaction and productivity while also helping ensure that ranch practices and goals are being met. This is an area where we need to do more research and develop more tools for producers to use because there's obviously a lack of people developing good job descriptions, there's a lack of people rewarding people, there's a lack of, of managers um, having feedback conversations with folks and a lot of it is just they just don't have the resources to do that and so we need to go back and go to work developing those tools. The good news, with a little time and effort, anyone can learn the skills necessary to find and keep high quality employees. Reporting from San Diego, I'm Russell Nemitz for NCBA's Cattlemen to Cattlemen.